Hey YouTube, how you doing? You know, sometimes you got these things that you see on eBay and you're like, hey, maybe I could fix it or maybe I know the solution to it and then, you know, I might make somebody else happy with the thing or I can create a nice little movie. You know, just like yesterday, I saw this this advertising, this, this uh, thing on eBay and it was an iPhone 3GS and the guy said, well, he tried to update it to iOS 5.1 and then suddenly he got the error and since then the thing is just hanging to iTunes you know and I know as an iPhone freak that if you have a jailbreak phone so I asked him was the phone jailbreak he said yes I said okay so I start thinking I said well if the phone is jailbreak and he just hit update you know the update won't perform good you will have to put the phone in dfu mode first and then let itunes restore the phone because it was a jailbreak phone the software that's on the phone is not original by apple so you know i thought well you know he's just asking like 110 quid for the thing and you know for 3gs it's not it's not so cheap a friend of mine was still looking for one so i thought well I might get a good deal out of this thing but beware <laughs> beware because this is the second time I, I almost burned my fingers and uh, the first time it was with the 3gs that uh, had a wi-fi gray out and the person said to me the lady yes it happened after the last update i updated and then suddenly wi-fi didn't work anymore you know so i don't really believe these stories anymore I think if the Wi-Fi is grey out, then you have a hardware problem, you know, the, or there is a crack in the motherboard or they tried to remove the motherboard and they didn't do it in a proper way and it created a crack, you know, such as this 3GS, it had a crack at the top but it didn't really look bad, it was acceptable, you know, it was acceptable at least, not to me, I will never use that phone but to somebody else it could be acceptable, a little crack at the top. Some people they just want the iPhone because it's an iPhone, you know, so they, they you, you will get rid of it anyhow. So what I did and what I thought is that the phone fell on the ground and had a hardware error because many things didn't work in the phone, but I didn't know that because I got it hanging to iTunes. So I got home, put it into a DFU mode start restoring with itunes and at 75 percent you know at the installing procedure on the phone you know when it's like installing at at, at almost 75 percent it it, it it rebooted and then i get the itunes or error this phone cannot be restored by itunes and then a little one didn't know what that was so at that time i was like i bought a phone that is broken I knew it I was screwed and what I didn't understand and that's what I also want to make this this, this little discussion about is that it installed for 75% and then it rebooted the phone the phone went back to iTunes hanging to iTunes has to be restored but you know you cannot restore it because if you restore it you will get the error again so what I did I put it back in a DFU mode and just jailbreaked it with the latest red snow and the jailbreak went fine the everything went fine and at a certain moment the phone booted up and it was start up at a certain moment and i was like putting in some things and it just rebooted out of nothing took very long to start up at least three four minutes five minutes i think and then suddenly it started up, you know, and I was a whole whole lot further than I was before. So now I could use the thing as at least as an iPod or so, I thought. So I tested the camera, I tested the thing, I put some music on the thing, and then I played some music. And after not even 20 seconds of playing the music, the phone rebooted again. In the phone, the Wi-Fi was grey out. The, the 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 phone part to connect the GSM was searching, 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 searching. And if you remove uh, the, the the slot, 
it wouldn't say no safeguard installed. It wouldn't say nothing. And if you put the SIM card in, it wouldn't do nothing. Just search, 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 no SIM card, whatever. No message, nothing. So the microphone was also broke because when I recorded the little video, I thought, well, maybe you can use this as a good camera. You know, you always try to find solutions for things that are screwed up. You try, always think maybe I can use it for this or for that. You know, and I made the video, but then I listened to the video, it looked good, but no sound. So I said to my girl, you know, I'm gonna call this guy. So I called him up, I said, listen, bro, I just fixed your phone, man. He said, wow, really, really? I said, yeah, man, I fixed it, but I don't want it, man. I'm gonna bring it back for you. You can sell it for the, for more money now to somebody else because I don't want it. I need, I want, I want my money back. He said, why don't you want it? I said, well, because the friend I was buying it for, he don't want it. She don't want it. She's very, she don't like the screen. And I just fixed it for you. And he said, well, yeah, sure, bring it back, man. So I brought it back and he was really happy. So I just split and leave, took my money and leave, you know? So I want to know, how is it possible that, um, Red Snow still got the phone to boot up. That while only 75% of the OS in fact was installed on the phone. And I have some videos about that. So let's jump into that. Okay, let me explain what happened. I downloaded the original firmware, the 5.1 for iPhone 3GS. And then I put it into a DFU mode. You already know how to do that. And then with the shift, I scrolled and selected the file you saw that process and then it start installing and at 75% it rebooted and I got the error this iPhone could not be restored and uh, until now it goes good restoring firmware and I'm waiting for the error I hope it won't come and as I said, it happened, it happened again, and this is the error you get, and then, you know, the phone will soon hang to iTunes, so that's what's gonna happen, and I'm gonna show you how to fix this, as I promised, here it is hanging to iTunes, so how to fix this, you guys will be like, yeah, my phone is broke, well, it is broke, something on the main board is broken of this phone many things are broken the Wi-Fi is broken the the, the phone part is broken the, the, the screen here you can see it's cracked you know this is one shitty phone and the guy couldn't do anything with it and he sold it just this way to me you understand so I'm gonna show you how to fix this so you can still use the damn thing as an iPod okay you see this thing is hanging to iTunes again so what we're gonna do we're gonna press the both buttons power and home button until the thing goes off then we hit the power button and then we hit the home button keep holding the home button until the logo disappears three more seconds the power button let go of the power button and keep holding the home button until you hear that it connects again with your computer there you go now you can let go of the home button at this part you will see that the iPhone is in uh, a DFU mode so we just close iTunes because iTunes cannot help us anymore because this phone has several problems we uh, get help by Red Snow we open Red Snow and you guys are like wow this guy has a lot of icons but you know I do a lot of work so what we're gonna do is we go to extras and we select we select the the firmware iPhone 2.1 blah 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 there it goes this is a is this a newer model if you're not sure you can that uh, uh, have a fixed boot room before we 40 usually have all the if you have a new model I do need to a full official resort to fix the mistake losing any unsecured data mm -hmm. I think no I'm just gonna select no 
um, we can refix and then we go back we can also hit just boot eh? we can also hit just boot but we're gonna jailbreak first and then here we have the phone so we hit jailbreaker eh? and we and, and we selected the the firmware over here we can uh, install Cydia custom boot logo you know you can search for boot logo we just install Cydia we hit next so as you saw this this phone was like that eh? you couldn't do anything with it so thanks to uh, Red Snow, this phone will at least uh, start up again and even though the phone part is broken, the Wi-Fi part is broken, the Bluetooth, the Blue, Blue, Bluetooth part is broken and the microphone, or you call it the recording microphone part is also broken because you have to stick in a headphone with a built-in microphone to record sound if you record the video or whatever. Otherwise, you will have a video without any sound. So this thing has several problems. It's a sick puppy. Up here, you can see that it's uh, downloading the jailbreak data. This phone is like being flashed. And because of um, the jailbreak, you know, it will not really look at, at things like Wi-Fi is not working or whatever it's not working it will just you know install and let the thing start up activate it so it will boot and that's really cool as you can see the rest of the activities will find place of the rest of the process will find place on the machine So now we, uh, as you can see, the pineapple. See that? Yeah. Wow! Look at that, shining, man. Whoa! As you see, this uh, this is just uh, going fine. No errors whatsoever. And now the uh, the phone will boot. It will not bring you to i iTunes again it will now uh, say welcome to the world of Apple and it's booting oh, yes. and this process goes pretty fast And you can see the smoke coming out of the machine, eh? it's working really hard. The apple is smoking. And there you go. Oops. And now it will boot. There you go and this phone wasn't starting up anymore you see that now we have a working iPhone Dutch next and I remember the last time it uh, it booted it rebooted the phone So go to Netherlands. This is at least this is working, eh? But you will see there's no Wi-Fi because at this part it should bring us to Wi-Fi. 
next step over screen record don't send next you see I, I already had to find at least some <laughs> you see the thing is it's back but no Wi-Fi Wi-Fi is gray out you see that no Wi-Fi no Bluetooth you see oops turned off out of nothing and then starting up again so I'm gonna bring it back real fast Anyway, that's how to get some life back into an iPhone that doesn't want to restore. This was Spock to my next video. Bye.